from those around I hear a cry Oh God Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulullah Assalamu alaikum my dear Muslims Welcome to another audio narration of the book Don't be sad Next chapter Do not grieve there is another life to come The day will come when Allah will gather together the first of the creation and the last of it The knowledge of this occurrence alone should reassure you of Allah's justice So whoever's money is usurped here shall find it there whoever is oppressed here shall find justice and carry out there and whoever oppresses here shall find his punishment there Immanuel Kant the German philosopher said the drama of this life is not complete there must be a second scene to it for we see the tyrants and his victims without seeing justice being executed we see the conqueror and the sub Jugated without the lack of finding any revenge. Therefore, there must be another world where justice will be carried out. A Sheikh Ali Atantawi commented on this said, This statement suggests a confession from the foreigner to Islam of the existence of a hereafter where justice will take place. An Arab poet said, If the minister and his delegates rule, this politically and the judge on the earth is unjust in his judgments in his judgments then who followed by who after who upon the judge of the earth and from the judge who is above this day shall every person be recompensed for what he earned no injustice shall be done to anybody truly Allah is swift in reckoning Quran chapter 40 verse 17 Next chapter. Do not be do not feel overly stressed when work piles up. Robert Louis Stevenson said every person is capable of performing his daily tasks no matter how difficult they are, and every person is capable of living happily during his day until the sun sets, and this is the meaning of life. Stephen Leacock said the young child says when I will become a bigger boy. The boy says when I become a teenager and when that time comes he says when I will marry. What about after marriage and what comes after all of these stages? One's thought constantly follow the tune of the follow. When will I be able to retire? But when one actually reaches an old age and looks back, he is scorched by a cold wind. He lost out on his whole life that dwindle away without ever living inside of it and thus we learn only when it is too late that life is to be lived in every breathing minute and hour such is the state of those who put off repenting from their sins one of our pious preceders said i warn you of delaying and staying and saying that i will do it after later for this is a phrase that prevents one from doing good and causes one to fall behind in deeds of righteousness. Leave them to eat and enjoy and let them be re preoccupied with false hope they will come to know. Quran chapter 15 verse 3 The French philosopher Montaigne said, My life was filled with bad luck that never showed mercy. I said that despite the knowledge and the intelligence, many famous thinkers knew nothing of the wisdom behind their own creation. They were not guided by the teachings that Allah sent through his messenger Muhammad peace be upon him. And, and he for whom Allah has not appointed light, for him there is no light. Quran chapter 24 verse 40. Verily we showed him the way whether he be grateful ungrateful Quran chapter 76 verse 3 Dante said consider that this day will not occur again better and more beautiful and complete is the hadith pray as if it is your farewell prayer whoever puts it into his mind that today is his last day will make a fresh repentance and will do good deeds and will strive to be obedient to his Lord the Almighty and the messenger Muhammad, 
Muhammad peace be upon him. Next chapter. Grieve not and ask yourself the following questions. The first question, do I put off living in the present because of fears and apprehensions about the future or because of hopes of the magical garden beyond the horizon? Number two, do I embitter my present life by muggling of events that occurred in the past? Number three, do I wake up in the morning with an intention of spending my day usefully? Number four, do I find that I'm benefiting from my life when I try to concentrate on the present situation or task? Number five, when will I begin to live in the present moment without caring too much about, without worrying too much about the past and future? Next week, tomorrow, or today? Next chapter. Do not despair when you face a difficult situation. If you find yourself in a tough situation, do the following. Number one, ask yourself what is the worst that can happen. Number two, prepare yourself to cope and deal with the worst case scenario. Number three, if something bad occurs, meet it with calm nerves in order to deal with the situation. Those are you believers whom unto the people hypocrites said, Verily, the people, pagans, have gathered against you a great army. Therefore fear them, but it only increased them in faith. And they said, Allah alone is sufficient for us, and he is the best disposer of affairs for us. Quran, chapter 3, verse 173. Next chapter. Contemplate these verses. And whomsoever fears Allah and keeps his duty to him, he will make a way for him to get out from every difficulty. And he will provide for him from sources he can never, could never imagine. And whomsoever puts his trust in Allah, then he will suffice him. Quran chapter 65 verse 2 to 3. And Allah will grant after hardship ease. Quran 65 verse 7 The Prophet peace be upon him said And know that victory comes with patience and with hardship there is a way out and with difficulty comes ease. In another hadith the Prophet peace be upon him related that Allah said I am with my slaves thought about me so let him think of me as he chooses. Allah will suffice you against them and he is the all hearer, the all knower. Quran chapter 2 137 and put your trust in the ever living one who dies not Quran chapter 25 verse 15 perhaps Allah may bring a victory or decision according to his will Quran chapter 5 verse 52 none besides Allah can avert it for advance it or delay it Quran chapter 53 verse 58